Its full name is Aconite napellus. Its common name is monk's hood. It's proved by Dr. Honeyman and it belongs to the family of Ranunculaceae. And yes, it's one of the Clark's ABC nurseries. Why? Look, my face is red or pale. Alternatively, yes, I have swelling all over the face, and my skin is dry and hot with burning sensation. I think you have a fever. Let me check. Oh no, you have high fever. I think I'm gonna die at 3 p.m. No, no, why are you saying this? Don't worry. Let's go to the doctor. Napolis. Meet my friends, Arsenic and Rockstox. We are trios of restlessness. Hi, I am Rockstox. I have physical restlessness. And I am Arsenic. I have physical and mental restlessness. And I have mental restlessness. Rux, give me water. Yeah, sure. You know, Echo. We have exams after three days. What? We have exams? Yes, you don't know about it. But I am not prepared for the exam. I am gonna fail. Oh no. Don't worry, we study together. No, I am gonna fail now. Ooh, I'm thirsty. This is an extreme test. is complimentary to Pofia in fever, sleeplessness and intolerance of pain, to Arnica in traumatism, to sulfur in all cases but rarely indicated in fevers which brings out eruptions. Aconite is the acute of sulfur. Its antidote is Belladonna, Chamomilla, Pofia, Nux vomica, Sepia, Spongia and Sulfur. If there is an attack of conversions in teething children, then Aconite is a very good remedy for this. Aconite is also given in the cases of paralysis, which is from exposure to dry cold wind. Aconite is indicated in the first stage of any acute case, which starts suddenly and violently. Thrust and M stand for Monk Soul.
which is common name of aconite and aconite patient can't bear music